If he did not support Scientology or was hostile to it, he would be declared a suppressive person and Marla would be forbidden to have any contact. At the least he was being handled. As this video shows, Kent Snyder worked regularly and closely with CCHR, actively promoting legislation favorable to them. This bill is not successful, is not passed. Then two or three or four years from now, what you're going to find is you're going to find stories of parents who said, why didn't we work harder? My child is now subject to mental screening. He's now subject to therapy. There's all sorts of coercive measures that are going on. So the time is now. Parents need to understand that. And we're going to do everything we can to, to, to fight against it. This is important because there is an attempt to rationalize Ron Paul's involvement with CCHR and founding member Dr. Zass is harmless. On the Ron Paul forums when a supporter points out the Scientology connection, another member tries to spin Zass as a great libertarian who is not a Scientologist nor is sympathetic to Scientology. This is bullshit. CCHR is a branch of Scientology and SZAZS co-founded it. The Church of Scientology would never allow someone they did not control to have that much influence. The CCHR website was registered by Scientologist Amber Smayadaki. Most of the board are Scientologists. Zias denies being a Scientologist. A representative writes, Sharing this battle does not mean that Dr. Zias supports the unrelated principles and causes of any religious or non-religious organization. This can be true working with most organizations. But as we have shown, Scientology does not work this way. You are either for Scientology or you are against it. Whether SZAZS himself believes in Xenu is irrelevant. What is relevant is Scientology considers Zass non-hostile and therefore successfully handled. Kent Snyder may have something in common with Lisa McPherson. His involvement with the cult might have killed him. Like Zass, Scientology believes in an extreme version of personal responsibility. That disease is a result of body thetans and it is the Scientologists' fault for not trying hard enough to clear them. If they did, goes the theory, they would be free of disease. Zias doesn't push body thetans, but he does promote a dangerous distorted idea of mental illness that has the same potential effect. Discouraging people from getting help because according to him any problems they have are imaginary. The CCHR was created in 1969 founded by the Church of Scientology and by famous renegade psychiatrist Dr. Thomas Zaz. From day one, most or many of the senior leadership of the CCHR have been Scientologists. And for Zaz, and of course this has been taken on uh, big time by Scientology, uh, therefore mental illness is not real illness. It is possible Kent Sanders' untreated illness and death was a result of adopting the Scientologist beliefs that his illness was his fault or not real. It would explain why he had no health insurance. Many Scientologists don't. It seems Snyder sincerely believed in Ron Paul's libertarian rhetoric and equally trusted his Scientologist friends, though this ultimately was not in his best interest. A further question arises. How many of Scientology ideas are influencing Ron Paul's campaign for liberty through CCHR and ZAS? The Scientology connection to Ron Paul has been noted in a handful of disingenuous threads on the Ron Paul forum. They are disingenuous because they ask questions a Google search can answer in seconds, yet few people link to these results. The threads are phishing members to see how much Paul supporters know about the connection, and when someone appears knowledgeable, the information is spun. In one of these threads Scientologists in Clearwater are praised for organizing one of Ron Paul's events in 2007.